Welcome back to WP Globe YouTube channel. Do you have a WooCommerce site and want to add product options to your store? Do you want to enable your customers to personalize WooCommerce products and add extra options and add-ons? Then this plugin is exactly what you need. Today, let's review the WooCommerce product options plugin by Barn2. Offering product options allows you to sell customizable products and product add-ons, but it may be hard to handle as the default WooCommerce install doesn't offer much choice of variations such as chat boxes, swatches, images, text fields, and so on. While with WooCommerce product options plugin by Barn2, you can create ultimate WooCommerce product add-ons easily and quickly. The plugin offers a number of user-friendly features, which make the process of creating product options super simple without any bells and whistles. Let's have a look at the live demo of the plugin in order to go deeper into the features offered by the plugin. The Product Options plugin enables you to add a wide range of options to your product. You can easily create product options with checkboxes, radio buttons, text fields, clickable images, and many more. You can also add content to each of your options. There are also more advanced features such as changing the price based on the options chosen, conditionally show or hide product options depending on the previous selections of the customer, offer upsell related items, gifts, and so on. Now let's have a look at how to set up the plugin on your site. Once you have installed and activated the plugin, come to WordPress dashboard, come down to WooCommerce, to products and then to product options. Click the Add Group button in order to start creating Options Group. First, you need to write a group name. This name will not be visible for your customers, it will only be used in your WordPress admin. However, if you want to make it visible for your customers, simply click the display box at the end of the row and that's it. Let's name our group iPhone 14. Then, with the next step, we need to decide if we want to display these options globally on all of the products or on specific categories and products. If you choose on specific categories and products, there are two more lines, which are inclusions and exclusions. In the line of inclusions, type and select the names of the products and categories you want the option group to appear on. In case of exclusions, do the things vice versa. Type in the names and select the products and categories you don't want the option group to appear. On the next line named options, there is a table where you can add as many product options as you like. Click Add option and type in option name. Let's start with the phone model. You can again decide if you want to display the name of the option to your customers or not. WooCommerce product options come with 10 types of product options. Let's review each of them for short. Uh, check boxes. With check boxes, you can display one or more boxes to tick for your customers. Radio buttons. You can display one or more radio buttons from which only one of them can be chosen. Text input. Uh, display a text box where your customers can type in info. This can be useful especially if you want to uh, gain or acquire text-based information such as emails, um, phone numbers, addresses, and so on. Paragraph. You can also display larger boxes for your customers to write lengthy texts. 
file upload, you can allow your customers to upload one or more files. This can be useful, for example, if you are selling uh, t-shirts with prints and uh, you can enable your customers to upload the images of the prints they want. Uh, image buttons you can display a grid of images for your customers to choose color swatches where you display a grid of color squares text labels which is a grid of text based options and customer defined price uh, is a field where your customers can type the additional amount of the money that uh, must be added to the cost of the product simply click on a type to select it let's choose drop down this time uh, next on the row of choices write the names or the labels of product options you can add as many options as you want let's uh, write some of uh, them uh, after a labeling a product options, you can decide the pricing depending on the options. Then you can write a description for the options, uh, decide if it is required or not, and add some more extended features such as conditionally showing or hiding product options. Next, simply click the Add Option button in order to create a new option. This time, let's uh, choose color. For colors, I think it will be uh, more appropriate to use color swatches. Uh, and then let's choose the colors and write uh, names accordingly. Uh, you can also decide if you want to show only color swatches or color swatches and their labels. So here one more option is ready. As you can see, adding a product op option couldn't be easier than this. We can also add one more option. Let it be the option about uh, phone storage. This time, let's use radio buttons. Um, you can again uh, make some changes on the prices depending uh, on the choice of your customers. Once you are done with all of the options, simply click the Save Changes button. And that's it, your uh, product option is all ready. In order to preview your product, go to the product section, choose your product, then click preview button, and there you have it. You have created a product option, and as you can see, when you choose the phone model or when you uh, choose the storage, you can see that there is a price change. You can also edit your uh, product option. For editing it, simply go to your um, back to your product options page choose the product option and click edit button there you can edit it if there are any changes you want to do on it so as you can see the woocommerce product options plugin by barn2 is the easiest and fastest way to add a full range of options to your products the plugin is easy to use and manage, it is user-friendly and what's more, the plugin is compatible with all WordPress themes and versions. The plugin also works great with other products while Barn 2, such as WooCommerce product table for displaying the add-ons in one page order form instead of just on the single product page, and it works great with uh, WooCommerce Quick View Pro, which enables us to display the add-ons on Product Lightbox. This was much for today. I hope you liked the video and it was useful. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel to learn more about WordPress world. See you soon in the next video. Bye!